sky. So this is a get ready with me video for uh, this look which happened unintentionally. It, as you watch the video you'll see that. Um, so now though it's Monday. I feel like I'm ready to take on the day and well that's a lie. I don't really feel ready to take on the day but I look ready to take on the day. So we're gonna make this happen and I hope you enjoy. Give me a thumbs up. Put any comments below. Look forward to hearing them. Good morning, you two. It is uh, Monday morning, and I did not sleep great last night, so I kind of figured I would do a get ready with me and see um, what we can do about this, because my eyes are puffy, um, and I slept with this hair mask in, and I want to leave it in today at work, so i got to kind of redo the ballerina bun thing that I had going on. So let's get ready together and see if we can make myself look a little more human this morning. I put my moisturizer on already this morning, and I'm going to pause this and get my stuff together. Alright, so let's try and look a little or feel a little bit less zombie-ish. I'm kind of hiding that. So for my foundation today, I'm using the uh, Dream Fresh BB Cream in uh, light medium. Oh, <laughs> and it's a new tube. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is probably my third um, of this. I, I just love the way this works on my skin. Um, I don't think I've ever when it comes to foundation, return to a product as often as I do this one because it's just a really nice light coverage. Um, it feels good. It goes on smooth. Um, I mean, it's perfect with my fingers. I don't have to have a foundation brush. And it just gives such a nice finish with my skin. Um, I'm sure as long as the line exists, I'll probably be going through it. Now I do switch and use different foundations. It just depends on kind of the day or my mood, but that one is uh, very much a go-to. Apparently I need more coffee. And this is my favorite coffee mug. I have to share this. I mean, you can't really see where it's engraved, but a friend of mine, um, Allie, if she sees this, hi Allie, uh, took a pottery class and she made this for me. So it is my, my favorite coffee mug of all. It's also because it's very special to me. All right, so we have foundation on and today I'm busting out the big guns because I just, I, I didn't sleep well and I, I feel it and I'm pretty fortunate. I don't think I have major bags under my eyes, but today they are there. So I'm breaking out my Erase Paste by Benefit, and this is, um, I don't know what this is, Ghosty Pale. Um, it's probably light. I can't see. My contacts are not letting me yet. And I just, this stuff is really thick um, and really great coverage, so I'm just dabbing it under my eyes, and I don't know if you guys can see this tail or whatever, but there it is. I have a cat that just jumped in my lap. She apparently wants to say hi and I've gotten some broken capillaries on my nose um, so I'm just going to use a little bit of the erase paste here too and I'm just pressing it in using my fingers so that it kind of melts into the skin because this is not a day for lots of brushes this is a day for quick down and dirty and again try and feel a little human. So since you're here, come here. Come here. Oh, let go. Come here. You can say hi. Say hi, Molly. Well, thank you for saying hi on command, but look at the camera. You're such a pretty girl. All right, go away. Okay, so <laughs> now that we've had the little, the pet moment, let's continue. Contour a little bit. I've put on a few pounds, and so I notice it in my face, and um, that has made me contour more than I normally do. And my current, like, 
favorite is this this NYX or NYX or however you say it um, Wonder Stick, and this is in the Universal um, Highlight and Contour. Yeah, this is the Universal shade, and I like it. It's just you know stick on both ends, and you don't have to be perfect with it. So I mean, I literally just draw lines on my face. And under my chin, because that's where my weight's showing. Um, and a little bit down the side of my nose. Just because I've started to like that look a little bit for now. Do, do, do. And then we'll just throw the highlight on. A couple spots here. And that's it for highlight. Now, I, again, I'm just using my hands today. I'm just kind of keeping it simple. And it's just kind of blend this up and out. And I will switch fingers when I go to the highlight so that I'm not dragging um, the color everywhere. heard my phone it's so fluffy it makes me smile all right done just a little bit of contour <laughs> time for blush I am wearing a pink dress today so I'm going for NARS and um, you know the perennial favorite of orgasm great pink it builds up nicely and just I can't find my blush brush so just using a little bit of a fluffier brush And I'm, I've mentioned it before, I think, I'm not, I'm, I love the idea of blush, but I don't like a lot on myself. So I, I have a pretty light touch with it. And um, if I get too much and don't like it, I will tend to still take powder and kind of uh, fade that out, but I won't like take it off and start over because that's a little bit much. All right, so let me just set this. I'm using um, just the Cody Airspun. And I think it's translucent. What's the original formula? I don't know. And just a fluffy mitt today because um, that was already there. Just to kind of set everything a little bit. First thing, let's put the brows on. So I have a, an Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Caramel. And I'm just going to use the spoolie on one end to kind of brush them up. And I'm just kind of filling in and darkening a little bit. Um, And my whole purpose is I really just kind of want to even them up. I have a few sparse areas. Um, and they're, you know, my brows are, are somewhat thin. Thank you to uh, finding tweezers and wax and stuff as a teenager. So they don't want to grow back. And I'm okay with that. I, I'm content with them. All right. So today I'm going to keep it kind of easy. I'm going to use a... Um, it's a Tristique. I haven't used this before, so it is a, it's in Kona Coffee. It's a mini eyeshadow, eyeshadow crayon. Um, I got this in one of my monthly <laughs> bags. I should probably know which one, but I don't offhand. And we're going to see how this is because, oh, this is dark. Okay, I wasn't planning on quite so dark. So I guess this changes my look a little bit today. All right, so I'm going to just uh, leave that on and I'll grab a brush and clean that up here in a second because, wow, not what I was going for, but I'm tired, therefore I'm committed. All right. So you can see I did not 
Um, I did not do a good job of putting this on. It is a mess. So I'm going to grab a um, kind of a stiffer bristle brush. Let me find one here. Okay, a little bit of a stiffer bristle. Um, this is a Oh, it's a precision smudger, so that might be perfect. I have no idea where I got this. And so I'm just going to kind of hold out my eye and smudge this around, get it into that corner, kind of clean up the edge, and just kind of smudge it out into the crease area so that uh, I don't have to worry about it too much. All right, so that eye is okay. It's um, this does actually smudge out, so the crayon's not too bad. Um, I was actually going to go with a green eyeliner today, but I don't think so anymore. All right, so let's just fix the other eye. Again, I'm just going to smudge that up into the crease. And for me, on the crease, I'm just basically smudging up until the brush is just up underneath my brow bone and that kind of the hollow that your eyeball creates. That's my kind of my guide there. Alright, this is fairly even because it's darker than I planned, but it's okay. And then I have this Ulta Quad in, um, you can tell I've used the heck out of it. It's just various shades of brown. What is the color of this? It's just called Good Girl. Again, I don't even know if you can buy this anymore. Um, but what I really want is I want one of these lighter shades here to just finish off the top. And I, I'm going to use this kind of sand. It's a matte color. Um, and just blend in there to kind of soften that edge from this the pencil. And just kind of finish the look a little bit. All right. Again, I wasn't really planning, I was planning on doing just a little bit of green eyeliner for a pop, but now with the brown, I'm going to change my mind. So let me go get my brown eyeliner. Okay, so I found my brown eyeliner. I, my contacts are so strong, I can't actually read it. So I think this is a L'Oreal. It is a um, just a liquid brown eyeliner. And I'm just going to do the outer... Edge. I don't want to do a crazy, I'm going to do just a touch of a wing, but nothing major because this doesn't create um, a good sharp. So it's more to create the a little bit of an illusion. And that smudged a little weird now that I'm up close, so let me okay. clean that up just a little bit more. And somehow I have some sparkle in there. I don't know where that came from. I guess it's in the pencil. I didn't really see it till I got up close. Okay, so again, just a little flip. <clears throat> And for my under eye, I'm going to take one of my angle brushes. Oh, well, you can see that there. Um, back into my Ulta Quad, I'm just going to pick up the dark brown. Tap off that excess. And all I'm going to do is come up here, and I'm just actually going to touch it. I'm not even going to... Um, draw a line with it. I'm just touching it and dabbing it along. Just to get a little bit of a line there. I'm only going about halfway. Knock off the excess. Then I'm going to grab a, a slightly lighter shade, which is that one. Again, you can see I've really used this palette. I love it. Tap off the excess, and now I'm actually going to drag that all the way in with a little bit lighter color. So kind of smoking it out. More so than I planned for a Monday. This was not my planned look. But it's okay. It'll do. Uh, people are just going to think, wow. 
She got up early. No, just screwed up my makeup. All right, so, wow. Definitely a heavier look than I planned, but that's all right. It's makeup, you make it work. Or worst case, you go wash it all off, but I'm not doing that. So, uh, for mascara, I have my Telescopic in black. And this just has a really thin plastic um, brush, if you will. It's not a lot of, it's like a wand to me. It's not really a brush. And let's get a, some mascara on because enough mascara will hide the, uh, the flaws of the makeup. And don't you love the ridiculous looks you make on your face while trying to put on makeup and mascara? We get oh so sexy. Now one thing that helps is my lashes right now are tinted. I had it done last weekend. So my bottom lashes are already looking long. Um, they are long, they just are usually blonde. So that helps with having a little bit less mascara. All right. So there's the, the eyes. For lip, since I've already done such an extreme eye, I'm not one of those that say, oh, if you've got a bold eye, you can't do a bold lip. Do what you want. Um, I'm gonna, gonna go with a, a, a medium though. Just a, kind of a neutrally pinky brown. And that's it. So now I need to go finish my hair, get dressed, and start my Monday. At least now I look like I'm ready to tackle the day as opposed to the day tackling me, which is where we started. So have a great day. Hope you had some fun with this and give me a thumbs up if you'd like to do more. Have a great day. Happy Monday.